Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for A Royal Corgi Christmas, starring the amazing Hunter King and Jordan Renzo, um, Sicily and Prince Ed Edmund. Uh, basically, Sicily <laughs> is, or Cecilia, I guess it's Sicily, she is a dog trainer. And she gets hired uh, by the royal family to train Mistletoe, a new corgi that Prince Edmund is, get, was supposed to give to his mom as a gift. But it's an untrained corgi. The royal dog trainer won't train him because it's not a royal dog. I think it's stupid. <laughs> so... They hire Hunter King, which she actually sort of contacted them to get the job because she was hoping maybe they would help fund this, uh, I don't know what, this little rehabilitation for dogs to help train multi, a, you know, a big range of dogs. Um, I think Hunter King did great. I love her in this. She's done great in everyone I've seen her in so far. I think she's going to be a huge star for, excuse me, a huge star for Hallmark. I think they do need to keep casting her and stuff. Um, is she better than Joey, or is that the same? Uh, I mean, I know it's different type of movies. Yeah, they're so. different types. I like mm -hmm. Joey, too. Um, I think I, the thing is, I'm so used to Joey, so now it's like, you know. Yeah, I, I like Joey too, but they do they're they're so different with what they do yeah. that it's it's really so hard she to does judge. More of the drama and horror type stuff where her sister obviously does more homework. Yeah. Um it's a little bit different, but <laughs> But love Joey King. Um I'm not a royal movie fan, so I didn't connect with it as much as I wanted to. Uh but I thought the dog was so <laughs> cute. Um, it just, it made the movie just watching I the doggy. I swear brought up the damn dogs, like, probably eight times throughout that movie. <laughs> well, they were so cute. With the little heart butts and everything. <laughs> um, I think the chemistry between her and Prince Ed, between Prince Edmund and Cicely was okay. I wouldn't say it was the greatest. I've seen better. But it was fine. Uh, I think the... Him getting mad at the end wasn't, in a way, I guess it was warranted, but I think what happened towards the end, it felt rushed. It felt like they were running out of time. This just might just be me personally, but it felt like they were running out of time and they just had to speed things up. And it just felt like it went way too fast at the end. And it, I did not like that. I did not like that I felt that way. Um, so, with the ending feeling rushed, with the fact that I didn't connect with it as well as I wanted to because of it being a royal one, with the chemistry just being okay, I ended up still giving, I ended up giving this a three and a half out of five. Um, Maybe that's because it's of the doggy and Hunter King. I mean, I think the costume design was really good. I'll say that. I think the costume design was very good. Um, again, I talk about costume design because this is a royal one. So you got the royal attire. You got, yeah. yeah. I think the costume design was great. Um, everything, even like when Hunter King was dressed up in the dresses and stuff, she looked amazing in those. Um, the acting was good. I mean, the, when, you know, acting was solid. Hunter King was solid in her acting, as always. So there's a lot of positives. It's just, I just didn't connect with it as much as I hoped. Uh, the story, if you're into the royal story, you'll probably connect with this more. Um, but I would definitely recommend it still, uh, just because of the type of movie it is. 
there's, you know, there's going to be more people into these types of movies than me. So, I would still definitely recommend it. Would I purchase this? Would I rewatch this? Yes. Um, solely based on the fact that it's Hunter King. Um. And the Corgi butt. <laughs> and the Corgi butt. Uh. <laughs> but yes, I would I would purchase and watch this again. I don't say that about many of the royal movies, but I would do that with this one. Um, three and a half is a solid score. That's a purchase-worthy score. Um, so, you know, definitely uh, check it out. But that is everything for Royal Corgi Christmas. So please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we will see you all in the next one.